What's up guys? This is your instructor Ahasis and in this course, I will teach you how to develop Flappy Bird game from scratch to finish. Alright, so let's check out the demo project quickly. Having seen the demo project, do well to subscribe this channel and let's dive into it. Hi, this is your instructor Ahesis and in this lecture, we want to start designing our layout. To get started with our application, first, we have to create a new project in Android Studio. This is my Android Studio, and as of the time of recording, I'm using version 4.0. So, whichever version you are using, don't worry, all you have to do is to follow my lead. To proceed, we have to hit on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity. Hit on next. Specify the name of your project right here. Okay, so I will call it Flappy Bird. When naming your project, always use a descriptive name that determines the intention of your project. So, you will be able to relate with it in the future. Specify the domain of your website right here if you've got some. And it's going to be as com.ahesis.flappybird. If you don't have a website, don't worry, all you have to do is to leave it as default. Take notes. In the future, when we want to deploy this application on Play Store, definitely we will change the package name. Here, you have to select the location of your choice where you want to save your project to. If you wish to do that, you just have to hit on this folder icon right here. And then select any location of your choice where you want to save your project to. But for me, also, I will leave it as default. So I hit on cancel. For the language, you have the Kotlin and Java option. In this course, we will make use of Java. Right? Get your Java selected. Hit on the finish button. Android Studio is building up. Android Studio is done building. We have to proceed by making the necessary imports. Minimize your Android Studio. Open up your game asset folder. Right here, we need the better one, the play buttons, and the portrait background. Right click, hit on copy. Go back to Android Studio, hit on REST, right click on your drawable, hit on paste. Make sure to select the first directory, hit on OK, OK. So let's check it out. Open up the drawable, here is the bed one, the play buttons, and the portrait background. Close it down, close it down, close it down. Next, we have to import the customized fonts that will be used in this course. Minimize your Android Studio one more time. Right in the game asset folder, here is the font. Right click, hit on copy. Go back to Android Studio. Right click on rest, hit on paste, then OK. This is it right here. 
close it down open up the activity underscore main.xml we do our layer design in xml and we carry out the implementation of our code in java let's create the necessary colors hit on values open up the colors.xml right here we need four more colors highlight ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste 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 haven't done these we have to specify the names of the colors and its corresponding values right here i'm just going to get rid of the accent and um we need a color gray the value for gray is 808080 we need a color red get rid of the accent here i'm going to do red the value for color red is ffcb 0013 we need a color yellow get rid of the accent i'm going to do yellow the value for yellow is ff0 and lastly we need another unique color i'm just going to call it my color so get rid of everything right here and i'm going to do my color the value is 10 30 50. cool guys haven't done this quickly let's get started with the design close it down we are back to the activity underscore main.xml stretch it to the left we don't need a test view highlight wipe it off place your mouse right here hit on the enter key on your keyboard actually this will make our code more readable we don't need a constant layout highlight wipe it off all we need right here is a relative layout cool a relative layout is a view group that displays chart views in relative positions the positions of each view can be specified as relative to siblings elements such as to the left of right of top or below another view sounds good beautiful right here we need a test view to display the name of our application open tag test view hit on your enter key to pick it up the layout width is wrap content and the layout height is wrap content test android column test i will call it flappy bed test color android column test color we will make use of the color yellow add color slash color yellow the test size android column test size 40 sp horizontally we want to align this test to the center so i'm going to do android column layout center horizontal set it to true font family android column font family we will make use of the customized font we imported earlier on in this lecture add font slash fonta awesome hit on your forward slash on your keyboard to close it up sp if you're wondering what an sp is sp stands for scale independent pixels it is recommend you use this unit when specifying font sizes so they will be adjusted for both the screen density and the user's preference sounds good next we need an image view to display the logo of our application in this case the bed and now 
we will use shortcuts to generate most of the XML code. Open tag, capital I, small m, then this is the image view right here. Hit on your enter key to pick it up. The layout width is wrap content and the layout height is wrap content. We have to display the logo. So I'm going to do background, add, drawable slash, bed one. By default, in a relative layout, the view aligns itself to the top left corner of the screen. Check it out. So it is your duty to align it to the appropriate position. So for that, I'm going to do center horizontal, set it to true. Awesome. We want the image view to fall below the test view. To do that, we have to specify the ID of the test view. Place your mouse right here, hit on your enter key on your keyboard, and I'm going to do Android column ID at plus ID slash. I will call it test V. Come right here. For the image view to fall below the test view, we have to make use of the layout below property. Below at plus ID slash the ID of the test view, which is test V. Can you see now? The bed is directly below the test view. Let's set a margin top for the bed. Margin top 50 dp. Hit on the forward slash on your keyboard to close it up. dp. If you're wondering what a dp is, dp stands for density independent pixels. It is a visual pixel unit that you should use when defining UI layout to express layout dimensions or position in a density independent way. Next, we need an image button to display the play menu. Image button. The layout width is 200 dp and the layout height is 100 dp. Starting from the X and Y axis, we want to align the image button to the center. So I'm going to do center in parent, set it to true. Here we go, check it out. Let's display the icon. Background, add, drawable slash, play buttons. Let's set an on click for the play button. I will call it start game. Take note, this method start game will be implemented in the future. Specify the ID of the image button. ID add plus ID slash. I will call it image button. Close it up. We need a button that will be clicked to rate the application on Play Store. Open tag, button, the layout width, the layout height is wrap content. Below, add plus ID slash, the ID of the image button. Next, we have to import the customized layout that will be used to beautify the buttons. Minimize your Android Studio. Right in the game asset folder, you are going to see a layout right here, which is btn underscore gradient underscore star. Right click, copy. Go back to Android Studio. Right click on your drawable, hit on paste. Make sure to select the first directory. Hit on OK. OK. Alright, so this color is missing, which is the color white. We have to create this color. To do that, you have to go back to values and then hit on colors.xml. This is values right here. Then open up the colors.xml. 
I just have to highlight, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, and then let's check out the name of the color. Color white. Just gonna copy, Ctrl C, come back here, and then let's replace it. Ctrl V. The value to get a color white is FFF. Awesome. Close it down. The error is gone. Close it down. Let's make the button more beautiful. Background. Add. Trouble slash. BTN underscore gradient underscore star. Can you see that? I like it. And the test is going to be rate the test size 50 sp font family add font slash font tab the color of the test test color add color slash my color awesome stretch it out so you can see what we are doing horizontally we have to align it to the center center horizontal set it to true let's set a margin top for it margin top 10 dp haven't understood what a dp is i hope you can relate with it now specify the id of this button ID add plus ID slash rate btn hit on the forward slash on your keyboard to close it up next we need a button that would be clicked to exit the application for that reason I just have to highlight this guy ctrl c to copy come down here ctrl v to paste don't worry it is going to assume the same position with the first button. You know why? Simply because it has got the same properties. Now let's change the ID. Right here, I'm going to do exit btn. And also change the test in it. This is going to be exit. Let's align the exit button to fall below the red button. So we just have to change the ID of the layout below. Highlight, wipe it off. And right here, I'm going to do red btn. Awesome. We have to change the test color. This is it right here. So I want to use color red. OK, the color is not showing up. Go back to the colors.xml. Let's check out the color red. Okay, guys, this is supposed to be FFCB. I'm sorry about that. Now I'll go back to the activity main.xml. Can you see that? I like it. Lastly, we have to specify the background of this layout. So scroll up. Place your mouse right here, hit on your enter key on your keyboard, and I'm going to do background, add, drawable slash, portrait background. <laughs> Looks good. I like it. Quickly, let's run our application to see what we have on board. The shortcut to run your application is Shift F10, or you just hit on the play button which is the green icon right here. Can you see that? But for me, I'm going to click here and then select run on multiple devices. I will select my real device. I love to do this because it gives me options to test run my application on any emulator of my choice. Hit on run. Installed successful. beautiful so this is all for now for this lecture and in the next lecture we will start designing the game of our screen all right take care